Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 2, part 92. And in this segment, I'm going to be using this car, the Panos Esperante GTLM. Because I've been wanting to use it throughout the entire LP, and this is probably the simplest of uh, livery jobs I did on any car. By that, I mean I pretty much did nothing else that wasn't already on there. I got the, you know, with the Pojo and the uh, the Lotus, I had the luxury of actually having shit already on the car. Here, I just painted it black, put yellow numbers on it for A-Class, and then put a couple Panos logos on it. I am a god, but yeah. So, let's just uh, upgrade this thing. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put sport tires on this thing. Let's just get BF Goodrich, fuck it. Then I'm going to go maximum tire width for a little extra grip. This grip is good. So that put me up to 750. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade the brakes a little bit. Let's get the sport brake package. Because, you know, being able to stop a car is good. Now, for the power. Let's see. What do I want to do? Go ahead and get these cans of valves. Um. Hmm. I don't want to go overboard. Eh, 520 should be good enough. So. That ought to be good. 826, I think that's good enough. It's probably too good, honestly. So, let's go race. To our fourth of ten endurance races, it's the Silverstone Class A Grand Prix. <clears throat> so here's our uh, opponent list. No Rossi in this one. Fields being headed by Davis and Taylor. So rip Rossi. So here we go. Another 25 lap race. This time at Silverstone, so this is going to take a lot longer than at Maple Valley. Off we go. Okay, oh wow, I'm starting second. I was actually expecting a lower spot in the grid there. Okay. Well, let's see how this Panos fares against the uh, 4GT and the Corvette. So, here we go. Time for 25 laps around the Silverstone. I'm expecting them to beat me in a straight line. Hopefully I can actually, like, outdrive them. be a good thing. Oh god, almost ramming into the back of Taylor, that would have been bad. <clears throat> Maybe I can use pit strategy as well, I don't know. We fucking not super OP. What is this malarkey? I'm not used to this anymore. Oh god. Can it rain in this game? No, there's no weather in this game. No more. You can frick off with your Mercedes. Fucking Mueller leaves my chat and then enters the race. I see this, uh. I see what's going on here. It's a conspiracy. See a soccer. Go. All right, I think once blah, blah, blah. I think once we settles in, I'm just gonna talk like Squizgar now, and or Toki. I think once we settle in here, and I get used to how this car behaves around here, I might be able to work on. Uh, Keeping up with uh, Davis and Taylor. Okay, hopefully you find your memory card a meal.
Definitely catch him through the S's, which is nice. And pulling away from Evans Miller, which is really nice. Oh, we got Heat 2002 for PS2, JC. Ooh. I think you got the inferior version, probably. I think you got the, uh... I don't know. I know the Xbox version is different, because I actually had the Xbox version of Heat 2002. And as far as, like, HUD and shit, it's different. And the fact that it has a full 43 car field as opposed to 24. Seems like Heat 2002 on the PS2 is just a simple port of the original NASCAR Heat, and then the Xbox version is kind of its own thing. Maybe I'm dumb. Hey, Kaiju. No, he's looking for a memory card, as in, like, physically looking for it. As in, one he owns that he is misplaced. Alright, three laps down. Still two seconds behind, uh, Taylor here. But if I think I drive my own race, I should be, uh, should be good here. But then E4's never had time-based endurances. Unless you're just bad at grammar. I meant like this is the last time Forza had endurances until 6. Nope, song stuck in my head. It shifted from karate to, uh, stranded by Gajira. Alright. Help. My brain. Help me. Oh shit. A tenth improvement from my previous lap. Oh, never mind. Okay, we're off in the gravel. As so much for that lap. Well, I'm keeping up with these two. So that's good. Anyways, you're actually wrong, Denny, because Forza 3 has Enduro, spoiler alert. Spoilers? I know, I spoiled a thing from a game from 2009. How dare I? Man, this thing understeers around this turn here. That or I'm just taking it too fast. Probably the latter. To be perfectly honest. Oh god. If I had Nickelback stuck in my head ever, I'd probably kill myself. Just saying. Should you get NASCAR 2005? Yes. I say you should, Junior, because... 
one you get four series and two it's a really good game big slide out turned them on me four laps down what's, what's the lap times about okay I'm just a little slower than them as far as best lap still 1.6 behind Taylor so this gap is remaining like the same throughout the entire lap <clears throat> back to Grodd are you, are you showing, uh, showing Raven West what 4 Q? Hey, Sam. Oh, no. Bad. Okay, we're good. Played 2004 for the PC. Hmm. From what I heard... If it's anything like NASA 2003 for the PC, it, I would understand, because apparently a 2003 version, or NASCAR Thunder 2003 for the PC was just inferior to the console version, pretty much every way. So, you know. Slightly, aww, one hunt, one thousandth off of getting the Satan lap. Fuck you, game. How dare you deny me this luxury? Fucking asshole. Damn you, turn ten. What do you mean cross-platforming, Alex? I mean it was released for multiple systems. Stop. How many vehicles are in Drive Club Q? Like 130 or something. Oh, 114 cars. Oh, bikes. IDK. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming you have all the car DLC. Because car, bro. Oh. Okay. So you, then you are an idiot. I mean, Doom 4 is an excellent game. What would it being the same on console compared to PC deteriorate its value. That makes absolutely no sense. It just doesn't. Like, I'm currently trying to make sense of it in my brain, and there is none. Oh no, I hit the sticky grass, goddammit. Well, there went all the effort I made. GG me. Oh. 
fuck is snap map? God damn it. I need to stop being an asshole because this instant karma is pissing me off. Oh, map editor. Okay. So, slight inconvenience there on PC. Alright. Cool. I, I still say you're being a fucking idiot for thinking that's a bad, like, for saying that's making the game worse than it is. But, you know. Have fun gaming your game queue. demons have. I don't fucking pay attention to that shit. They have enough polygons. They, the game looks great. I don't, know what, I don't know what the issue is, man. Kind of, it, it just makes me think like, oh hey, people are trying to find things to complain about that don't actually matter. Because, oh look, Doom is actually a really good game. We can't have that in this day and age of gaming. We must find even the most minuscule flaws and blow it way out of proportion. And claim the game is shit because of those minuscule fl flaws. Anyways, I'm just going to work on catching these two back up. Because this actually is quite a chore. Hey, Hachi. Got to get back down to 1.7 over Taylor. And then lost two tenths down the front straight, okay. That's right, those, they uh, out accelerate me a lot. Uh, no, you're not complaining. You're nitpicking, which is really, like... And you're making too much of a deal out of the nitpicks. It's like, oh, this is a... Like, this is a minor inconvenience. The most minor of inconveniences. Not really an actual glaring issue. So, you know. Ooh, nice, Junior. You should pick that up. Cause good game, bro. Heck yeah, Nascar 2005. It's like comparing Kirby Superstar to Deus Ex. Oh wait, Sammy did <coughs> that. Excuse me, Water Belch. It's okay, Alex. I'm just, you know, helping realize the flaws in your uh, statements. Help, helping you out. Trying to think, think a little more logically. Also doing it in the most ass way possible. Because I don't know how to be nice to people. Apparently. Ooh, new 
best lap for me. Oh wow, I actually didn't realize my personal best went that low. Damn. I might even be able to get a sub-55 before this race is over. Ooh. Okay, well, I got the gap back down to 1.7 at this point. Doing good, doing good. Let's compare lap. Okay. I have the fastest lap of the race. Nice. There is a chance. It's a little sketchy through that turn. As long as I keep gradually closing in like this. Race Driver 3 is fucking expensive. I got Race Driver 3 for fucking cheap. Because it was at a local used game store. I think I got it for like three or four bucks. Possibly less. Kano's got to spin the other two out. Yeah, man. Why am I in first gear? Holy shit, I didn't realize I downshifted that much. I thought I was in second gear this whole time. Found a secret level in Dude 2. Isn't that the Wolfenstein level? Or am I a dumb dumb? Not sure if last place car is uh, pitted or like as a routine or pitted because of damage or other shenanigans. <laughs> or if he's just that shit, I'm not sure. So let's check his PI. Anderson, Viper, nope, he definitely pitted from damage. It is Wolfenstein level, thought so. That's cool. Maybe Mr. Viper here can help me out, help a brother out, by holding these two up a little bit. Oh yeah, I can see the Viper from a distance. It looks quite sad. So he definitely pitted to repair damage. Okay. That is a certainty now. I almost want a short pit here to uh, like take advantage of fresh tires. At the same time, uh, I don't know how much of an advantage with fresh tires I could get, considering I'm still on like you know my quickest pace. Also, suddenly, I'm right behind Taylor. What happened, bro? What did you do? Oh, uh, me being uh, seven tenths up on my best lap might be a factor. Yeah, there we go. There's that sub 55 I said I could do. Hooray. Pretty sure tested, like, most of the, this end game on medium. That's why he's a scrub and I'm not. Ha ha ha. This is where I have to be careful, because I may have caught him, but I'm going to have to uh, think about this overtake. Actually, I know one advantage I could have from pitting early, less refueling. Like, less time spent refueling.
so I actually could, like, leapfrog them there. The gears are turning in me head. Oh, Taylor getting held up by the Viper. Davis, not so much. Oh, Davis is going in. All right. I'm going to stay out then. Because I don't want to pit behind anybody. God, he ran out of potions in FF5. How you doing, Mr. Viper Man? That fucking sucks, Alex. Okay, careful. I really want to pass Taylor here. I really do. But I'm going to be smart about this. Okay, maybe not smart, smart, but cautious. Okay, Viper Man is a non-issue. If I can keep up with Taylor here, I can probably get him in this last section. Or the part leading up to the last section. You know, the part where I always pass people on this track? That part. Definitely close enough. Maybe a little too close. Because I'm going to have to swing out wide here. Just like that. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, hello. Hello, Taylor. How you doing? I was trying too hard. Got some wicked understeer. Okay. I'm going to pit lane. Suck me. Suck me PP. Alright, now this is going to be interesting. Where am I going to uh, exit the pits compared to Davis? This is very important. Feeling's done, tires are on, go. There's Evans, he's gonna have to pit still. And I'm gonna exit way in front of Davis, holy shit. Come on, where are you gonna spit me out here? There we go. Well, I've inherited the lead. Gotta hold it for these last uh, 12 laps. Yes, vroom vroom car. Oh, hey Fino, why are you here? I like that. See somebody in chat I don't normally see. I ask why instead of say hi. Well, I, I did say hi, but still. here. Okay. Watching, waiting. Oh, hello, big slide. Taylor putting this lap doesn't look like it. Oh, hey, Zonic. Whoops. Didn't need those anyways. 
they were a uh, unnecessary decoration. So I'm only three seconds behind Evans in his Lambo, his new Lamborghini, here in my garage. Now we're pretty much waiting on Taylor to pit. I had to play this game three times. Oh, well, come on. Don't you want to play in Espanol? So how the fuck did you manage to do that? Now, another question, am I going to end up passing Evans before he pits? Hey, Gugu. What the fucking shit, Zonic? Oh. Uh, I see. Okay, third party from Amazon. That actually explains everything. Gotta be careful with that shit. Gotta look at locations and shit. I, like, thoroughly look at their fucking whole seller profile before I buy a third party from Amazon. Also, you still, still have not entered the pits. They'll have to eventually. Now, Mr. Evans, are you gonna give me any problems here? My guess is yeah. It's kind of yeah. It's kind of weird how they would send you a Spanish version of the game twice. Fucking, I don't even know. Probably scoot around Evans here. Just gotta whip it out and around. Okay, I was way too fucking early on the brakes. Ugh. It's the only thing that sucks about that move is I'm always like way too hesitant on the brakes for that turn because I'm like I don't want to go widen into them, and even though I just did did it there. Oh no! Hello, I can car turn. And stay on another lap. Goddamn, Taylor. Are we gonna wait till lap fucking 23 or something? Okay, no dive from Evans. Good. Could have ruined my race if he did that. Alright, 23 and a half seconds behind Taylor. Let's see if I'm actually gaining any time on him. Considering I'm on fresher tires and shit. Oh, please, car turn. Ah, uh, I just thought of something. I totally should have put my car number in the uh, license plate section instead of on the bottom right of the rear bumper. Oh well. I should have put something there in the license plate 
part of the car. Oh well. It was just so low effort, I don't even care. Twenty-three seconds there, so Yep, I'm gaining time. And he's staying out another lap. Oh crikey. I need to get back in the low 55s here. Just to feel good about myself. Once again, 1,000th off of a Satan lap. First it gave me a 665, now it gave me a 667. Turn 10? Do we need to speak? Do, do we, uh... Let me have a little talk here about this shit. Or is Taylor driving? Uh, he's driving the Ford GT. He's in the Ford GT. Davis is in the uh, Corvette C6 Z06, I think. Oh, hey, Evans finally pitted. His new Lamborghini. Still closing the gap on Taylor, so I'm going to have a huge advantage when he finally does pit, which I think is now. Judging by his bubble on the map, he's definitely pitting now, alright. Well, time to take the lead for the first time in the race, at the end of lap 18. It's like the, uh, the, the Speedway 150 in GT4, where I didn't take the lead until like the last few laps. Hooray! Yep, there he is. In the pit lane. So me go P1. As I run at almost 54. That's going to be interesting to see how far behind uh, Davis Taylor ends up. Since he stayed out an extra like six laps. Three hundred meters, okay. So, actually didn't lose quite as much distance as I was expecting, but still lost a lot of time to Davis. It's not in any threat of losing the podium, that's for damn sure. Because Mueller's way the fuck back there. Alright, well... All I have to do now is just keep doing what I've been doing throughout the entire race, and that's hitting my marks, and just driving this car well. Because if I do screw up, Davis is going to be right on my ass. So we are not out of the woods yet. I still need to keep running very competitive laps. So, you know. Low 55s would be uh, very nice to uh, consistently do. Holy shit, I missed the breaking point. Okay, kept it on the road at least. That was uh, scary. Anybody going to the movies in a couple weeks? I'm not. I've went to the movies once in the past like three years. And that was to see Deadpool because I got invited by like one of the two local friends I have. Let's see, 55-7, that's, eh. It's about even with Davis, I think. I got three seconds on him, so. Trey Kaiju, you've now been immortalized on YouTube. 
on my YouTube. Still, that, still got that Gajira song stuck in my head. It won't go away. Okay, I'm starting to think a little too much about Davis. I just need to uh, not think about him at all. driving this car and not fuck up like that. That was quite the bad turn. Yeah, plus point seven. It's like a 55-4. I kind of want to get at least like a 55-3 or better each lap. God, the screw up. Where I fucking introduced this game is Gran Turismo 4. Out of nowhere. I don't know where my brain went there, but it definitely didn't go to the right place. Ooh, Davis gained like six cents on me that lap. So we still have a race here. Five to go. This is not over at all. I believe I can drive my little pinos here to victory. Oh, you're immortalized earlier. Fucking... Whatever, you're still immortalized on YouTube now. On my YouTube. So, meh. Yeah. Just believe in the painos. Ooh, little slide. Another slide. I kind of let the car just slide a little bit out of the final turn. Didn't really hurt me much. Just a, just a tiny bit of a power slide. And tail of the tape. Hey, I gained a little bit. Of, I gained a tenth on Davis that lap. Nice. For a split second there, I was late ahead of Moore. Ah. Oh, that was late breaking. That was not good. It was not good at all. Oh, big slide, okay. That 
that was in fact a big slide. I heard that I heard this term way too fucking deep. That wasn't very good. Alright, three to go. That's Silverstone. And gain another three tenths on me that lap. Almost went off. Oh shit. That was close. Excuse me. How many segments do I usually record at a time? It, it just depends on how many I can do within like a few hours. Like I usually stream for at least three hours, so however many I can get within that three hour span. Sometimes it's like two, sometimes it's five, sometimes it's seven. It just depends. Oh yeah, I forgot Thunder uploaded the, the screw up. Because memes. Hello, I'm doing this turn completely wrong. At least entering it completely wrong. Okay, my left front is where, uh... Over 50% worn. Left front's doing fucking work in this race. So 2.6 pine. Oh, hey. Just passed a back marker at exiting the pits, alright. Yeah, screw it, I'll keep that up. Just to show the tire wear. It's yellow, like the class uh, color. Oh, now the right front's starting to turn. Fifty-seven and fifty-three, respectively. I'm sure, Davis's tires getting pretty worn out as well. It's not stopping them from closing the gap, though. Hello, I suddenly forgotten how to drive. Okay. Let's go to the front. Oh man, this lap sucks. It's gonna be a 56. Oh, okay. Well, um, there weren't any fucking threats of losing this race. Davis pitted again to start the last lap. There's always gotta be some fucking catch. It's like, oh hey, the race is difficult. Just kidding, faggot. It actually isn't. Well, there goes any sort of tension. Fucking GG, Davis. He made what could have been an interesting finish into just another easy win.
You fucking idiot. That's gonna promote Taylor to second as well. Okay, just a few more corners. Let's not do anything stupid here. Now don't do anything reckless here. And hey. Another no damage race. How about that shit? Two in a row. So, there we go. Win at Silverstone. Hey, Sableye. Alright, well. Now we wait. Alright, he finally fucking made it. Jesus Christ. So, anyways. There's my margin of victory over Taylor. About ten seconds. Got the fastest lap. And as we slowly scroll down here, see the rest of the finishing order. We go to Anderson, who was nearly three minutes behind Esposito, two laps behind me. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck he did to his Viper, but it wasn't good. So, there's that. 160 grand, extra 80 from difficulty bonus, I'm gonna get an extra 80 from uh, the trophy, so hooray. Now we get to watch this zoom again. I don't know why I like watching it do that. Let's go from straight from level 0 to 5. So, there we go. More upgrade discounts! Yay! Sweetness. Alright. Let's get our trophy, and our more money, and a prize car. For a uh, that's difficult turn to easy race on the last lap. Oh boy, we got a nice car. There's the other 80 grand. We got the Bentley Speed 8. Aw, oh, yeah. Prototype. One of my favorite. Sweet. Alright, well, there we go. So, Silverstone A-Class done. So, next time in Forza 2, we'll move on to S-Class Enduro. This will be interesting. Stay tuned for that.